Passat B6 with uh, B7 clocks and 3C8 Highline module, right? Coding. So you basically, when you open VCS, right? You go to Central Electrics 09. The model is 3C893704E, which is a high line module. And you go to coding. This coding is only for Passat V6 Saloon. And this one is DSG, but it doesn't really matter in the coding in here. So you go to long coding helper. And then you have. Front fog lights installed if you have fog lights. Xenon headlights with shutter installed if you have Xenons, obviously. This one doesn't have. Footwell, footwell lights, they are not installed, but it will be later on if you have footwell lights. Daytime running lights, both of these ones deactivated because in UK it's not needed. Assistant driving light, living home. I like this one because when you lock it, it will light up the light so you can see. And then rain and light sensor installed. This one it has it already. It, it it's retrofitted. It's not like the normal ones, but there's still a genuine uh, sensor in there. So it has rain and light sensor on it. Then you got coming home. So when you when you unlock it, it will actually light up. And then you go to the next bit. Rear seat recognition I don't have. Headed washer I don't have. Electronic fuel, fuel pump relay, it's only for petrol. This one is a diesel and it doesn't have a rear wiper. And again, the next one rear wiper with front wiper continuously active because this one is a saloon, it doesn't have a rear wiper. Rear wiper with front wiper intermittent active. Obviously, this one doesn't have rear wiper. Comfort turn signals is when you pull this one one side, you just do like this and it, it will keep on blinking for three times the turn signal so I like this one cold lamp diagnostics active yes because it's just gonna tell you if you have any broken bulb or something if you have LEDs you want to turn it off load management active this one has to be on uh, coming home mode personalization or light sensor I I like to leave it by the line light sensor right so you thick it so you can have light sensor and side Turn signal lights installed. This is for US version. This is UK, so it's not nothing installed. Seat heating installed. Yes, it has seat heating. And next one. Relay terminal 15 installed. Yes, rear fog lights. Take it because you have only one. Reverse driving, you have only one. This one disabled. There's no xenons no rear wiper no second battery so it's quite straight straightforward then auxiliary heater installed it doesn't have both fog lights you don't have rear fog lights deactivated warp delay not selected headlight washer you don't have headlight washer activation time you don't have turn signal from the this is the usa mod which some people put it you can just put in here put maybe 15 maximum don't put more because you will burn the sockets holding the bulb holder actually so you don't want to put more than 15 if you have your turn lights as parking lights seat heating deactivate. I like to deactivate all of these right have a look at it rear brake light as parking light you can deactivate this one if you want to so you can have skyline mode and instead of 29 you put zero so doing this you just make circles in the back instead of full tail lights then rear fog light as parking light you don't need this neither you leave it zero front parking light dimming you can dim the light if you need to rear parking lights dimming you get dim it backup functions
you can do this for US cars most of the time I think they put it for that front fog lights has low beam headlight we don't have fog lights so we can't do anything emergency brake flashlight active we want to leave this one on in case you break an emergency and we just put the hazards for you front fog sparking light function active there's a lot of stuff that we don't use because this car doesn't have license plate diagnostic act uh, deactivated because it has LED lights and cold diagnosis brake lights active it's an LED in the rear as well so you don't want to have it side turn signals we put some LEDs in low beam you want to turn this on because we put some LEDs in there after market front parking lights active this ones are LED as well you want to deactivate it this one has electric parking brake installed you can see it in there right it's a B and back in here daytime running lights you can dim it if you want to rear fog lights as brake light living home you can put low beam always active if you want but I don't want because when you start it will mess up with the battery in here there's not much you can add because this one doesn't have too many options neither you can have cornering lights you can activate the cornering lights so you can click on internal turn light control algorithm and then you can put via fog lights via high beam via cinema shutter so you can do whatever with this one but as it doesn't have fog lights there's no need for it and coming home logic new logic nothing in here leave it zeros by 26 nothing this is basically for a person that does it for first time someone that knows what he's doing you will know already and then you just copy you copy this code control C which means copy obviously if you know how to use a computer you would know and then paste it in here and then click on do it I'll tell you coding accepted you hit OK right and then you go to full code and you have a look for it see control regulation for ambience lightning open or short to ground I don't have ambient lights so just clear codes control regulation for ambience lighting open or short to ground this one is because I probably put ambient lightning and I don't have it but that's all right we're just gonna code it later on we'll we'll check so this is how you actually code the new central electrics control module you make sure you save the pages of the previous control module what you have before you do any of this otherwise you will not know what to choose if you don't know your car so keep that in mind and VCDS obviously if you need more we'll make more videos in the future